Psalm 101 is a Psalm of David and it's all about serving God in every part of life. I will sing of your love and justice. I will praise you, Lord, with songs. I will be careful to live a blameless life. When will you come to my aid? I will lead a life of integrity in my own home. I will refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. I hate all crooked dealings. I will have nothing to do with them. I will reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbours. I will not endure conceit and pride. I will keep a protective eye on the godly, so they may dwell with me in safety. Only those who are above reproach will be allowed to serve me. I will not allow deceivers to serve me, and liars will not be allowed to enter my presence. My daily task will be to ferret out criminals and free the city of the Lord from their grip. So here he is talking about even the most private parts of his life. He starts with an unexpected way for a psalm, a note of praise. I will sing of your love and justice. I will praise you, Lord, with songs. There, if you like, is the worship side, the religious side of David's life. And of course, it's all about songs. I will sing. I will praise you with songs. Because that was always David's reaction. Something to praise God about, put it into a song. Well, we all have our different ways of worshipping. But if we worship God honestly, truly, as Jesus said, in spirit and in truth, then we're doing it right. Then he looks at his home life. I will lead a life of integrity in my own home, he says. He even talks about what he looks at. I refuse to look at anything vile and vulgar. And in these days, when you can find anything you like on the internet. That's even more important than it was then. We've got to guard what we look at. And then he says that he will even guard what he thinks. I reject perverse ideas and stay away from every evil. I will not tolerate people who slander their neighbours. So he's being careful who he mixes with. And then he looks at his, his work life. David was a king, and so his job was to look after the city and the country around. I will keep a protective eye on the godly, so they may dwell with me in safety. I mean, that's the basic role of government, isn't it? To make sure that the land is cared for in safety. I will not allow deceivers to serve me, and liars will not be allowed to enter my presence. That's a big thing for a king to say, because flatterers flock to someone in power. They will say anything in order to make him think well of them. And it becomes very difficult for the, the powerful to tell the difference between truth and lies. So it's important that he keeps around him, especially as his close advisors, those who are honourable and truthful. So, in his religious life, in his private life, even in his most private moments, in his work life, in every part of life, David is committing himself to serving God. Why don't we do the same? Lord God, you are holy, and as your people, we commit ourselves to holy living too. Every part of our lives, Lord, we want to follow you, even in how we think, in what we look at, 
in who we mix with, in how we live at home and at work, in every part, Lord, we want to serve you and bring you glory. Amen.